But uh, just for these amateur cards, this is one of the uh, more seasoned fighters. I say this is making his way into the cage. Let's get this featherweight bout going. The following contest brought to you by Live Oak. Texas Vodka is scheduled for three rounds of the Fury Amateur Series Featherweight Division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands five feet eight inches tall and weighed in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Magnolia, Texas. Today, he makes his amateur debut. This is Armando Garcia. And introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This freestyle fighter stands five feet, 10 inches tall, and he weighed in officially at 145.6 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas. Today, he looks for his second win as an amateur. Here is Isaias Pereira. Your referee in charge, Danielle Guevara. Featherweights getting started. Isaias really using his range and length to his advantage. It's a pretty significant size difference here. A little bit slower of a start than we've seen these last few fights. Yeah. S surprisingly for Garcia as it's. Oh, oh man! Big head kick. Huge head kick there from Isaias. Garcia's in just survival wrestling mode right now. That explains the patience there from Isaias. Looking trying to follow up on another head kick. Another shot. You know, I like I like that Pereira didn't flurry in too fast and gas himself up. Yeah, I see he's looking for that high roll KO, and I don't blame him. But I think just a classic right hand. Oh, another oh. high kick from a caught kick. Never mind, that's way cooler. That was an insane follow up to catching the kick. That's that height and length that he has. Yeah, there's some damage on that left eye there of Garcia. This is the last place he needs to be right now. He's standing at range there of Garcia's Herrera. Garcia's moving a little slow. I'd like to see him get a little faster paced with his footwork. Yeah, I was saying before he got head kicked, he is wildly patient and kind of flat-footed for it being his debut. I mean, as a coach, you want these guys to almost go too hard than not hard enough. Right. Decent body kick into a right hand. Even the rate at which he's throwing his strikes is a little bit slower than I would expect. Yeah, I think if Isaias can just use some like basic boxing, he'll probably meet the mark. I think he you know, dropped him with that head kick and he's just looking for... Oh, man! Oh, big, big hands off those hooks, able to drop his opponent. Beautiful work from Garcia. Following up with some shots to the body. Right back into the hook, hook, hook barrage. You know, both fighters have, have hit oh. a drop. Slightly oh. evening the rounds Man, out. Man, big right hand from Isaias. And again, I mean, he doesn't need anything fancy. He just needs damage and volume. As Garcia's back in on a double. Doing a good job. Mitigating damage here, closing the distance. So, I mean, Isaiah needs to stay laser focused. He does not have this one. As he reverses, successfully gets on top. Good job. It looks like he's halfway thinking he might want to go for a gear. Oh, he's just and neck cranking him. Oh, man, and the arm is trapped. In tight. He's going to survive this. A short arm on the oh, wow. Maker. Crazy first round. Yeah, the time was off a little bit. We heard that 10 second clap. Man, what a strange pace and round. I mean, like, it was almost like it was in slow motion, but there were right. several knockdowns. Yeah. You know, I, with both knockdowns being taken into, a, into account, I would say Isaiah was able to put more damage down the line. 
So I think he still takes that round, but very surprising with the second drop happening. Yeah, agreed. There's that caught kick to the high kick that drops him again. You can see there's a lot of damage on the left eye of Garcia, but look, this is where he flurries off himself. Gets a couple hooks. Way to follow through for Garcia with those hooks. All right, into round two. They're gonna check on the eye of Garcia. He took a toe knuckle right to it twice. Now is it is there a cut or is it just a I big think it's time a little swollen? Checking his vision. You know, most fighters are just saying the whole time, I can see, I can see, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> I think that's the case in this situation. Nice body shot there from Isaiah's early pressure on. Good left hook. I think if Isaiah's can get a little longer with his shots, he can stay oh. away from getting clipped on the counter. Oh, man. Right in the takedown for Garcia. Oh, that's this a bad it. reaction. Oh, if, if he up. lands five shots, they can stop this fight. I mean, He is still in the fight, but looking a little more timid than he was in the last round. I mean, yeah, it didn't take a step forward. Keeps his back on the cage. He's looking like he's a little... Oh, big body shot. ...experiencing the damage. I, could, I mean, they could stop this fight. I don't know how ready Garcia was. Beautiful work. Catch the kick, kick the other leg out. I mean, yeah, they, they got to stop this fight. Looks like Garcia is a, gets he to the finish point. Fully belly down. If you look at his feet aren't planted. There's no bridge. There's no attempt to turn. Now, I don't know if this is Garcia just not knowing, or is he giving is up? He, yeah. Is he, ah, he's bleeding bad. Stop this fight. Come on, Rhett. Oh, there's a Renee All right, Isaiah, so force the stoppage. He's got his mouthpiece halfway out There's of his the mouth. There's the Oh, man, he's gushing blood. Beautiful work by, for Isaias. He yeah, that was. To the point. He, he was, had a little man, bit was, of difficulty <laughs> in the middle of it. He was looking for that high rail. Kayla, I think that's oddly enough what it maybe played against him because he was just, he kind of let his fundamentals go and just started banging high kicks. But once he just started going volume, touched him, got him down. Found the finish. To Garcia's credit, he was looking to try to get Isaiah out of there fast with that hook, hook, hook lead through. So, you know, a little bit of time in the gym, fix some things up, and I'm sure he'll do better on his next call. I feel like I should have finished him from the first. I don't feel like he was on my level respectfully. 
Um, I dropped him in the first, and then he was at one of our first party and dropped it, but I'll take whatever fucker is on uh, I'm happy, but uh, more work to do. Yeah, your fundamentals definitely improved my success here. Once you kind of slowed it down and found your box and you got the drop and you found the finish, you know, what do you want to do here next in theory? I want to stay active. I want four or five fights in 345, and then after that, I want to go pro. Hey, man, congratulations on the victory. Let's see this. Put it out.